AOC have taken their already amazing monitor and added FreeSync to it, and they haven't even increased the price. It's just amazing. Um, stick around for the full review of the AOC G2460 PF. <laughs> Check out our website at techteamgb.co.uk for more info on both this and many other products, and also up to date news on all things tech. Stick around for this awesome video. So pretty much to preface this entire video, I really, really like this monitor. I still use the PQU version, the non-FreeSync version. Um, in fact, I'm actually looking at it right now as I voice over this video, but uh, yeah, the main difference between the two, at least visually anyway, is the red stripe along the bottom, which actually looks pretty cool. And especially if you already have an AMD graphics card and say a red based system, this would be a very nice touch. Now, the uh, stand itself is still just as awesome. You've got 140 centimeters of height adjust, 20 degrees of tilt and uh, to minus five. You also have pretty much infinite, uh, uh, kind of locking infinite uh, rotation, so you can pretty much go 360 either way. Um, it just locks after sort of the 360th degree. Um, and you can still rotate it to 90 degrees to have it in portrait mode if you wanted to, say, have five of them and be a very, very lucky person. Um, just to show you the rotation a little bit more, by the way, uh, as I said, you can basically turn it all the way around one way and then all the way around the other way. It just locks at one point, uh, so you can't, you know, infinitely turn it around. But uh, anyway, let's take a look at the, uh, the sort of, well, the coolness about it. So obviously, you got the free sync nomenclature at the top as well as the AOC logo, the monitor buttons on the right hand side as always, and the cool kind of brushed aluminium uh, kind of pla looking plastic, as well as the matte red uh, bar along the bottom. As I said, you've got the buttons on the right-hand side, which are a power button, the power LED, menu, left and right, and the source or back button, uh, which, by the way, if you press the source button while it's not in the menu, you can change the input, or you can use it as an exit button. Now, the monitor isn't the thinnest in the world, but by uh, no standards is it thick either. It's got a charging USB 2 port and another just standard USB 2 port on the right-hand side, which is actually pretty nice. I do use them occasionally. And uh, on the stand itself, you get a kind of red uh, accented clip to hold all your cables in place if you so desire. On the bottom, you get the USB downlink port, two more USB 2 ports, a rocker switch for power and a kettle lead in, a bit of a blank space where the monitor attaches to the arm with sort of four screws revealing a VESA mount, a DVI-D port, HDMI port, display port and a VGA port, as well as headphone in and audio uh, in as well, or audio out uh, as a sort of pass through. Also, just to show you the back, you've still got that kind of brushed aluminium looking plastic, as well as some matte stuff on the top, which I think the matte stuff does pick up fingerprints a bit more, but, uh, you know, I don't tend to look at the back of monitors that much, so that's all right. The menu is actually a really nice and very well-defined, uh, refined experience. It's very cool that it comes up in the middle and kind of allows you to tinker with things very easily. It's laid out pretty well, and pretty much everything to do with the FreeSync and 144Hz is pretty much just set by making sure that DisplayPort 1.2 is enabled uh, and other than that you can basically just tinker around the settings with this one i didn't actually have to change any of the settings to get a really nice experience which is really cool and uh, pretty awesome also by the way um the viewing angles of this are fantastic even though it's a tn panel this is pretty it's, in fact, it's one of the best monitors for viewing angles i've kind of had a look at in the sort of recent months so that's actually really awesome and i'm very very pleased with the monitor in general and obviously, if you have an AMD graphics card at this point in time, I mean, uh, in this shot, I'm using an R9 380X to test it out. But uh, if you already have an AMD graphics card and you're looking for a new monitor, um, and you, especially if your FPS is kind of in the 100 to 144 hertz uh, FPS range, definitely check one of these out. Now, this monitor is pretty much the example of I couldn't ask for any more. This thing has everything, it, you know, I, I need everything that I could possibly want, really, um, especially for the price that you're kind of looking at. So um, I still use the non freezing version. It's actually on my desk. It's why I'm pointing to it over there. Um, and it is awesome. I love it. It's got everything I need. Um, display port, 144Hz, 30p. But with this one, uh, you get FreeSync at no extra cost. It's amazing. Um, in terms of kind of the, the specific pros and cons, obviously you've got free sync, you've got 144 hertz. It's a nice panel um, with great viewing angles. It's a very nice build quality overall. It's a great stand. And honestly, I can't pick out anything wrong with it. I mean, feel free to let me know in the comments down below if you can think of anything, but honestly, this is pretty awesome. Now, in terms of the actual scoring, it pretty much has to be a 5 for everything. It's amazing value for money for a, a monitor, especially a 144Hz 1080p monitor, and with FreeSync, it's just 
brilliant um, in terms of inputs it's great so it, uh, it's getting great functionality it, you know the performance of a monitor is fantastic and the viewing angles are great as well I actually really like the styling the sort of uh, fake brushed aluminium kind of plastic as well as the red line along the bottom is a really nice touch for anyone with a red system and you know it's just a, a fantastic monitor and I really can't say anything else I mean it's, it just has to get the top tier award this is honestly the best monitor for the price in this category it just is it's one of the best monitors I've ever used and I've used quite a few nowadays so uh, yeah I guess that says something anyway thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed the video if you've got any questions about the monitor or anything else feel free to leave them in the comments down below otherwise subscribe for more awesome tech stuff hit the like button if you did like it um, if you did dislike it feel free to hit the dislike button but let me know what you didn't like in the comments down below and I'll try and fix it for the next video um, and other than that check out YoYo Tech if you want to buy this monitor or any other PC hardware and you're in the UK check out some of their other videos over there um, also Facebook and Twitter for you know when we post new videos and general updates and stuff like that uh, so so yeah check that one out there um and other than that check out our merchandise as well um and yeah thanks for watching hope you're having a good break and we'll see you on the next video